Hello, welcome to our fourth uh, episode in our series on geotechnology. What I'm going to talk today about is the history of geotechnology, and it has a long history. In fact, it goes back 40 years or so. Um, Roger Tomlinson in Canada was the godfather, the, the, the founda founding master of, of geotechnology, and a, and a technology called Geographic Information Systems, as it was described, and still is, GIS. GIS was really the way that we could bring, we could generate maps, ultimately. We could bring geodata together and output as a map. And in 40 years ago, is obviously a lot different to what it, ha what it is today. Um, and it's, been, it's seen a long evolution, but fundamentally in the, in the day, going back 20 years or so, if we wanted to actually pull our geodata together and present that as a map, you needed to get a GIS of some sort. Now GIS has, has been through various iterations. It started out as a desktop technology where you could only have to install it just like Microsoft Word. Um, then it moved to the web and now it's moved to mobile. And mobile has really been the thing that's created a, a revolution as we're talking about in this series in this whole geotechnology world. So it used to be that we, we thought about the geotechnology world as just GIS. Well that's changed. And again, the mobile revolution and indeed the emergence of cloud technology where, where organizations don't actually now need to install and set up uh, these, these systems on their own, within their own networks, you can actually rely on the cloud. That's really revolutionized things and we've seen an, a, an explosion of technologies which, which are in the geo space. So I would have said in the day, and I'm using this as a, as a metaphor, if you like, of what we had, we really had GIS and that was really what we had alone in the geotechnology sphere. Excuse the pun. We, we now have a much bigger world. I've got a soccer ball here, obviously I'm a big soccer player. We've got a much bigger world. GIS is one part of a much bigger whole. In fact, GIS fits into this, and I'll use the term geospatial world. So we now have a much bigger universe than just GIS. And there are now technologies coming out which are mapping or geo-focused technologies which are more than just GIS. So GIS is now um, a, sm a smaller part of a bigger whole um, as we see the emergence of many, many new consumer-focused geo-technologies and increasingly enterprise-focused technologies. And you'll see SAP, you'll see Tableau and some of these BI platforms. They're all now beginning to talk about geo and answering where questions within their platforms where they never did before. Is that GIS? Is that not GIS? There's, a, there's an argument back and forth on what it is and what it isn't. You'll hear a lot of, ter you'll hear a lot of reference to GIS, but increasingly geospatial is really what's taking, taking over. So where does that leave GIS? Well, GIS is still a very important fundamental technology, and we'll talk about it in depth in another video. But GIS is really to answer very deep questions on geo. Some really complicated where questions on geo is really what GIS is designed to do. Simple questions, there may be other technologies or geo technologies that can answer those questions, but GIS is that deep dive, that real science of answering those where questions with geo technology. So that's the high level view on where we sit today in the world with geo technology. We have GIS which is the fundamental, has a long history, um, and then we've got the general expansion of geospatial, uh, which is a wider group of geo-focused technologies. Again, if you want to subscribe, I think there's a button in the bottom corner here that we'll, we'll, we'll have added to this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. We will continue to walk through and evolve our conversation on geotechnology in future episodes.